The New York Post published this cover today. The headline reads, Doe Nation. Now, look at this headline from USA Today. Experts call in new Clinton State Department emails show donor access, not favors. Author of Clinton Cash, Peter Schweitzer, disagrees. Peter, welcome back. We are always glad to talk to you. What do you make of the distinction between access and favors? It seems like a very gray territory. <laughs> well, it is a great territory. I mean, sometimes access is the favor. You get a meeting, you get a voice of concern, you get information from the Secretary of State or somebody else. Uh, but also, there are numerous examples where favorable actions followed. And, and to me, it's a little bit ridiculous for people to be so literal that there has to be an email that says, we did this favor in return for this money. That's not how political corruption cases are handled in the United States. You You've got a former governor in Alabama, Siegelman, who's in jail. Uh, in that particular case, there was $100,000 that didn't even go to him. It went to a political initiative, and he was later charged and convicted on corruption charges. You have Senator Menendez in New Jersey. In the case of the Clintons, you have money going into their pocket in the form of speaking fees. You have contributions going to the Clinton Foundation. You have favorable actions. This is crying out for investigation by somebody with subpoena power. Yeah, I feel like clarity is key, and I'm with you that sometimes the favor is exactly that access that is entirely the point. But I want to get your reaction on this because Hillary Clinton's camp is seeking a correction of an AP tweet that promoted the story on Clinton meetings saying, quote, we have formally requested that AP remove or amend this tweet. They apparently considered it, but officially decided to let it stand. It seems egregious to knowingly allow a falsehood to remain posted under AP's <laughs> banner. The issue here is that the AP is agnostic. It has always at least gone for that middle line, that middle of the road. So do you think that's why the Clinton campaign is reacting so strongly? I think so, but look, this is their pattern, and, and this is the problem. I mean, let's be very blunt. Uh, the same thing with the email case. They have consistently lied about every single aspect when it comes to the Clinton Foundation and pay to play. I mean, Hillary Clinton said just last month to, uh, to Chris Wallace there was no connection between the Clinton Foundation and the State Department. She signed a memorandum of understanding with President Obama saying that there would be no connection between the Clinton Foundation and the State Department. And yet, what does she do? She puts Uma Abedin, her top aide, on the payroll of both the State Department and the Clinton Foundation. So, to me, you know, I don't know why we keep giving credibility to the Clinton Foundation or the Clinton campaign, because they've consistently lied. That's why we need an audit. That's why we need an investigation. And we need to stop accepting explanations that they give that oftentimes just end up being factually wrong. Let me ask you, though, about the press. There was something that I read this morning that said this race isn't so much Clinton versus Trump. It is Trump versus the media. And on that note, the AP's investigative report did not appear anywhere referenced or otherwise in today's 46-page print edition of The New York Times. So does this prove a kind of media bias to you? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the decision making was on that. I mean, I have worked with reporters from the New York Times on issues related to the Clinton Foundation. They were always very fair to me. I, I think, look, there's no question as the race is getting closer to Election Day, you're having some publications that are just going to avoid certain topics and certain issues. Uh, but I also think in general, news outlets are going to get more cautious on, you know, on, on running stories for the fear that somehow it's going to affect the election. So, um, you know, I think they make those decisions. I applaud for the AP for doing this story. It's fantastic research, and it indicates what we know, which is if you want to get meetings with Hillary Clinton while she's Secretary of State, you've got to pay in. That's basically how it works.